Well, Fuzzy, it's been wonderful to reflect in the past video about actual situations where gospel advance is taking place. But I'm sure like me, um, because of our movement's heart for the poor, it must thrill your heart to see that even as we expand wider, we haven't lost our heart for the poor. I do believe there is no way that we can expand and reach the unreached people groups and see the gospel break new grounds across the nations without a heart for the poor. And I think it's an apostolic mandate yeah. that's been given to us. It's not just a nice thing to do as we all go into different countries, but it's something that is apostolic. It's in our DNA. It's something that we were birthed in in our in this vision for the poor as a movement, even when we started in the early days in Clarence. So I'm just so stirred to see what God is doing around the world. I can talk about one situation. Remember, we, we talk about how the poor are not just uh, people we helped over there at like some kind of charity um, but the poor are to be lifted up and to be to be kind of lifted up from an airship and to be seated with the princes and that they are to participate with us in gospel advance and I saw the evidence of that recently when this young man called Matisala was trained what a lovely name yeah it's a lovely name <laughs> Matisala was trained in India uh, to plant a church. And we suddenly realized that the situation uh, where he comes from, that uh, he really needed some help and to really get him going. And uh, people came around him and they were able to help him to get a field and buy a field. And Steve is just amazing to see what he's since done. And I hope you can see this video and this picture of what this man has been able to fulfill by planting some eggplants and now he's feeding the community from a very, very poor background. He's feeding the community, he's now planting a church, he's providing for his family and now he's a partner with us in Gospel Advance. And that's really at the heart of Regions Beyond. I can use that story to just say this is exactly what we want to see. He's such a, an example of seeing the poor lifted up yeah, for gospel advance. Yeah. But I'm sure you are living with stories yeah. like that as well. And you know, the wonderful thing is the over 3 billion unreached people at the moment, mm. of which 70% are poor. But even in my travels to the United States this year, to our churches in the Northwest, I was so overwhelmed mm. walking through their food bank and seeing the dedication of that church to mm. serve the poor in their in the in the city of, of Missoula, mm. and the care that was taken, the excellence, mm. um, the way God provides, and then talking to uh, Mike Irving uh, from Australia, hearing about their food care mm. um, uh, shop that they run, and the people coming in, the discipling that's taking place, and seeing some fruit from that. Um, in our own church as well, since COVID, we, we went through a, a long time of rebuilding. But one of the, the priorities we had was to activate every member. Yeah. And suddenly, these ministries started to be born in individuals' hearts. I can Amazing. remember Topsy McQuena coming to us, and she's already birthed some ministries, Hope, um, People of Hope, which changed the whole town in terms of yeah. HIV and AIDS, where we saw uh, the pandemic just, just really um, uh, die down in our town because mm. of the work of her ministry. Now, um, she highlighted to us as elders the need for um, a ministry for gender-based violence. And wow. sadly, our nation, South Africa, is right up there when it comes to gender-based violence, poverty, mm. uh, hopelessness. And so she birthed this um, uh, ministry with a team of, of ladies serving our town. Well, very recently, after I think maybe 11 months of this ministry, the, the Peace held a forum, and they have many cases at any one time, and they um, declared how the number of cases is on the decline. Wow. And then they said, we'd like to tell you why. And then they asked Topsy to come up and tell everyone about what's called Hope Restored. Wow. And... Um, so it brings great joy to see these things. So whether it's America or Africa, India, 
uh, Franco Lonapan's yeah. work uh, of Karuna yeah. in, in Mumbai, serving those on the streets with leprosy, been going for years. It is so honored across the, the, the world, um, that ministry and the impact it has had. So um, yes, it really is a joy. And I, if I can say one more thing, um, you spoke about and, and referenced Psalm 113, how the poor are found on the ash heap and how God stoops down and he lifts them up and then he seats them with princes, which is the word for leadership yeah. or for those with influence yeah. and the decision makers. And for me, once again, in my, my local situation to, to have discovered Kumbi Sitsomi in Lesotho, in a village in Lesotho, serving his family. He was farming as well. Yeah potato farming, wow. looking after his family, building something up. Wow. I called him across from the city to serve us in Duklebang. And then in February this year to be able to hand over to him. So he now leads the church, you know, Amazing. he's my leader. So uh -huh. it's just a joy. And, sure. and that is the fulfillment yep. of this heart yep. of embracing the poor. It's not just a project, yep. but embracing them, becoming one of us. That's amazing, and I, I do believe that's a, a biblical thing. It's a biblical mandate. Uh, but I'm just so amazed, Steve, with our ministry among the poor, how God is raising up churches that are really shaping nations and towns and villages through our work among the poor yes. and raising leaders as well who are really shaping some of the decisions in their local context, not only in the local church, but outside of the local yes. church, like Eden Simpson and what he's doing in the Philippines. Yes. I mean, he is just an amazing, amazing pillar in his community. And Top Simukwena, as you said, and there are many, many others. Yes. And we are starting to see churches that are leading the way in this, but also we are starting to see the, the, the poor being raised up. And I do believe God is fulfilling it in our midst. There are so many names that That's we could wonderful. talk about, and there are so many yeah. contexts that we could talk about. But really, this is on our heart. This is really who we are as yeah. regions beyond. Yeah, and while in India now, um, and we shared in the last video that we're about to go in and plant a church in Calcutta, that was born out of a, a, a young lady, Dipshika, right. going into a community, working her way in, winning their trust, um, getting in there, starting to teach and and have inroads and it was this work among the poor that just opened something up so now we can go in and yeah. follow her leaders are going in donald and sylvia laying down so much wow. um emmanuel their son joining them and it's just fantastic to see yeah. um, how god as you say is honoring yeah. our heart for the poor I, I remember being in liberia and working with uh, well obviously what uh, we are doing there with Robert and also the, the team that are working there, are realizing also that they've started schools and there's uh, the water uh, project as well. They've dug up some wells in order to provide water for the whole community. And these schools are the only schools we have in those communities, but they were started by local churches. And I felt God speak to me in that moment to say, you are not just going to see people come to faith, but you are gonna adopt nations and see wow. the whole nation come through and have hope nations that don't have hope. I do believe this is bigger than we realize. Yes. And I believe God is in it. And we are to step into these situations by faith. Wow, that's wonderful. So brothers and sisters across the regions beyond family, you can hear the, the great expanse of, of our work. And over this month, we are all going to be giving to our global offering, trusting God for over $300,000. It would be wonderful if we could far exceed that because of the nature of our work. And so I really want to call on you. Would you join us? I know in my local church, Diklabeng, Kumbi Sitsomi has set a very high bar for us. And so we are trusting and praying and working hard to give. So please join us in this great adventure of us to embrace the poor across the nation.